Hello, and welcome to this new video concerning the managing uh, of risk for cultural heritage. We will be looking at a short introduction, then at what is the current uh, job market for cultural heritage. We will look at uh, which are the skills and competences required for the cultural heritage manager which are then the challenges and barriers that prevent the correct and appropriate risk management for cultural heritage. And then at the end, we will draw some of the main conclusions. Let's start, uh, let's start by saying that risk management, it is a vital element for any organization. And so this is also true, of course, for, for managing cultural heritage assets. Risk management requires, first of all, uh, formalization, a sort of structure and understanding of the organization which we are managing. Of course, at the same time, risk management should not be seen as a complicated, overcomplicated maybe task. But it is also, in fact, not resource intensive uh, or or difficult by itself, but it can have a rather gradual implementation into the organization. This means it is possible to start small and slowly, gradually implement a more structured uh, plans and strategies for the management of risk. So what is the situation, uh, the current situation in the job market and which are the professionals existing uh, in the management of cultural heritage? First of all, um, I would like to underline that the results that you will see in the next slides are um, coming out from a, a desk review and survey within the framework of the charisma project so um, what you will see is main are mainly the results um, of our investigation so concerning the uh, cultural heritage job market the um we we have definitely uh, highlighted what what is the complexity and uh, what are the multi-layered characteristics of of risk management and what that that is easily um understandable as we know that uh, in, in cultural heritage um there are involved many different professional figures so we have engineers architects technicians but also specialized workers um conservation experts and then all the planners the authorities the rescue services as well as universities and academics so we can see that definitely we are in a field which is multidisciplinary we are in a context that um that um, includes all sorts of different uh, expertises so um we can make three main observations from our analysis so uh, the of course, the technical professionals, meaning the engineers, the architects, are the ones that are more involved in the risk management, but especially in, uh, uh, in the definition of, uh, of the risks and in the design of actions uh, for, for mitigating the risk, as well as in the mon monitoring the effectiveness of these actions. Second observation, participatory processes are really essential throughout the management cycle. So it is always important to bring on board um, all the different stakeholders in a way to consider in your uh, risk management plan all different aspects and perspectives to risk management and especially it is important um, to include uh, to have a participatory process in planning of strategies 
Finally, the last observation, we talk about the multi-layered um, nature of, of the, this uh, field. Um, of course, we have uh, sometimes an overlapping of, of expertise. Um, so we can have, for example, internal and external experts belonging to the same organization, to different sorry, organizations that might have um, same uh, same skills and maybe different responsibilities. And of course, this leads to a very uh, important point. So plurality, of course, is always beneficial uh, as it, it affects in a positive way the management process. But at the same time, of course, conflicting positions may arise. And from this point, we can start understanding already what is the importance of the cultural heritage uh, risk manager. So again, let's look at the results uh, of the Charisma project uh, in understanding which are the skills and competences involved. First of all, during the survey, in, in the survey that we carried out, we um, the participants um, represented different cultural heritage assets categories. As you can see from this slide, 86% um, of the participants um, represented immovable and movable cultural heritage assets and 14% natural and underwater assets. In the second slide, instead, we can see which are the um, sectors involved uh, in the survey. So we can see the participants uh, that, um, that took part. This um, survey belonged mostly to the technical sectors, 65% and 35% to the service sectors of course this sort of an imbalance that you might see uh, toward the technical sector is in line and well represents the composition of the project partnership so this also reflects that so let's come to the needed and required skills and competences for the cultural heritage manager so in this slide you see which skills are felt as the most important and the most needed from the different respond uh, respondent to the to the survey and it is important to highlight the fact that 46 percent um, of the skills refer to risk management so vulnerability assessment hazard projection data mining impact assessment are all are all part of the risk management and uh, if we want to underline uh, one of the most important uh, factors here is data mining so data mining of course it's central to different domains uh, in uh, nowadays so also this is true for cultural heritage and cultural heritage risk management and we know for fact that the lack of information is the single greatest problem we have in cultural heritage protection and this prevents a proper risk evaluation and therefore an adequate prioritization of resource investment so we just don't know all information we don't have all information concerning the cultural heritage stock which is of course very vast and therefore we cannot take appropriate action let's move on to the challenges and barriers so we can see from this slide that um, over 50 percent of the respondents to our survey um, underlined and highlighted the fact that mainly 
the lack of funds and the lack of knowledge, uh, but also the lack of awareness, which is uh, something uh, we can definitely work more on is uh, and improve is um, is uh, are, are are the main aspects are the main challenges and barriers toward a uh, um, a sustainable and a compatible and a feasible risk uh, management for for cultural heritage. So, concluding in this brief video, we looked at the job market for uh, the existing professional figures in the, in the risk management for cultural heritage. We looked at uh, the skills required for the cultural heritage risk manager. And we also looked at the challenges uh, which are uh, the um, risk management for cultural heritage is currently facing. So the findings from the Charisma project uh, provide deeper insights on how the profile or, uh, of the cultural heritage risk manager should be shaped and which are the issues then that should be addressed. Thank you for your attention.